Hey guys, Brown Vapor here, and today, now, I'm going to talk about the UL Crown, I think it's the V2, I'm pretty sure it's the V2, um, here it is, let's do this up close and personal, uh, it does come with the drip tip, I just took it off because I like using my Vulcan, but it is compatible with multiple drip tips, this one sits in it a little bit nicer just because it has that little concave part and that has a convex piece and it just fits snugly easily comes off and you can fit your own if you want I just like how this feels it obviously the heat sinks won't do crap right now but um yeah this one nice wide bore there's all your connections it says UL crown on the bottom it has their website Oh, I don't that. But a uh, nice smooth 510 connection. All the things are smooth. I need to fill it. I have a little bit of juice in there, so I won't fully take it apart right now. Um, it has multiple. It has very nice and clicky. Uh, but um, it has two air holes, one on one side, one on the other, and it has multiple. Selections of that, and it'll be the same on the other side as it is on this side. So I keep mine wide open, and then it has. Let's see, we can take it apart a little bit. Let's take the drip off. Top, you can fill it from the top or the bottom. Here's the top piece. Has a nice little, uh, like a flat O-ring, help keep the juice in. Then you take, actually, I'll show you that where you can fill it in four slots on the top so you can fill it in really nicely. I'll show you how soon. Right now, I have my night chrome um, temperature control coil head in there. So down in there, there's the coal head, I've been using this for a while, uh, uh, more of about a week and a half. Each coal head comes with four slots that juice feeds into, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, very nice. And then there's the bottom half, and you can fill juice in also, but remember not to get any in the actual all there. One, it'll drip through, and two, it's not good to eat, eat juice. So, put that back on. Here's all nice, nice and smooth. I love it. And then, let's take, if I can do this. It's not that one. Swimming in your sea, caught my eye. Okay. I don't want to chase you all night. Uh, let's try taking this off first, and then... Oh man, it's time. Okay, well I can't, but you can take apart the tunnel if you want to clean it. And if you somehow break your uh, quartz tank, which is stronger than Pyrex, which a lot of uh, companies use, you can actually replace it, because in the well, kit, in the box it comes in, it has two coil heads. To, well, this was one of them installed. Installed in there is already a 5 ohm coil head, and then it comes with a 0.2 ohm coil head. Um, or 0.5 ohm coil head, and 0.2. But, um, and then on, all of them are all dual coil, and this is the Nichrome one. And it also comes with an extra Pyrex tank and the instruction manual. But if, if you're new to vaping, that's helpful if you're not like me. You don't really need it, you kind of get the gist of it, you know. But, um, <laughs> so that's pretty much that. And then, so I just screw it on here. I'll show you how to fill her up. I'll give you a few specifications right here. Maybe here. But, um, yeah, so we're back. And 
here's the how to fill it up. You take that piece off. And you rotate your camera down. A bit. Let's see what the heck I'm doing. how to fill it. So right now I'm dripping in some ripping vapors, not associated with rip trippers, but rip nog, eggnog blend. It was on sale. It kind of tastes fine. I like the taste of eggnog, so it's fine. This one does get old quickly, like a lot of fruity flavors. No, but this isn't fruity, I understand, but fruity flavors just get old. So you just easily drip it in. Now you can also pour it in, but I don't like to because of that. I don't want to get it all in down there because that goes all the way down to the coil head which splits into two. I think I have a coil head nearby. I work on computer stuff so that's that loud noise. Uh, good okay. Throwing her up. I think it's a three, no, it's a four millimeter tank I believe. M millimeter, millimeter. Yeah. yeah. Fill her all the way up. And then if it's your first initial um, so you, yeah, you put in a new coil head and it's your first time, but um, let it drip a couple, um, put a little bit of juice on the actual coil head inside, like when you, for, before you actually put the tank on, and then you fill the tank up. I fill it all the way up because this thing eats juice. Then screw your top cap back on. Stare at your juice forever. But um, you got your top cap back on, and I'm at 315 degrees Celsius, and now they say to when you're filling it up to close the air, but I don't really care. It has never leaked for me. I understand a little bit of juice gets in there, but that's just use you know and there there's not really a way to actually clean it out other than when you replace the coil head then you can take like a q-tip or a napkin stick it down there and get that juice out now link will be in the description of where to get this and I'll also have a link of the actual site itself uh, for this, I'm using the hunger cut. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's my quick review of the Evo Crown Tank. Um, stay tuned for some other reviews of other RDAs I have and uh, reviews of some of the juices I have, like Eggnog and Ultimate, Cutwood, Kindred. I forgot what that one was, and some. House blend from a vape shop in Maryland, which say they did clouds, but no. So stay tuned and peace, I guess. Or rock on, or West Coast. Southside. So